We have removed the propellers to get to the cutlass bearings and remove the cutlass bearings so we can have new ones ordered and replaced. The cutlass bearing presses into this slot right here and keeps the propeller shaft from wobbling around. There's a bronze insert that's keyed with keepers or set screws here, here, and here, and of course on the other side. And there's a vulcanized rubber insert inside of that bronze piece and it has to be pressed back in hydraulically. Here you can see we've taped the key for the propeller so that won't be lost. And we've got the half nut and the whole nut, which is the correct order for putting the propeller back on. The half nut goes on first, the whole nut goes on last. And you can't see it, but there's also a cotter pin that goes through here. Some other things to look at. This is called a V strut. You can see the V right there. And then up forward, we're looking at a zinc, a shaft collar zinc. And further up, you can see this strange thing here. This is a coupling where the engine shaft is coupled to the aft shaft. So looking at how long the shaft is, they generally don't make shafts in the neighborhood of 20 feet long. So you have to have two pieces, one piece, second piece, and then coupled together right here. This other piece here is called an I strut. I instead of V and there is a cutlass bearing inside here but through testing and I'm talking about caveman technology we just got a little bit rough with that shaft back there and we tried to see if we had any movement here and our experiment did not show any movement so this is true both on the port side where I am and also on the starboard side so we're not going to change those of course, something can go wrong next week or next year, but right now they seem to be okay. Let me go up a little bit further, and you can see where the propeller shaft goes inside the boat. On the inside of the boat, in the engine room, there's a shaft collar or a dripless shaft seal to keep the ocean from going inside the engine room. So that's something that we would have to monitor, check, and service inside the engine room instead of outside under the boat. So backing up, you can see we've got a very long shaft. It's actually a two-piece shaft. We've got an I intermediate strut forward and a V primary strut in the back. We're replacing this. You can see we're going to replace that cutlass bearing propeller key, half nut, whole nut, and then the cotter pin. If you want to learn more about boat maintenance, check out our DIY maintenance courses in Vero Beach, Florida, or Ask Captain Chris.